turn to kind of the application, kind of the use. So you, you have um, a product based on the peptide, which you're, which is currently on the market. Um, so if I'm going to use this product, right? Do I need do I need to use it kind of continuously, or I use it once, or or for a period, and then it it like rejuvenates my skin? You know, how how does that work? Yeah, we have some experiments that shows us if we treat the skin cells for three weeks, uh, we see the levels of senescence decrease. And if we interrupt the treatment here, the cells will start accumulating senescence again. So basically, because we are exposed to different types of stress and aging is the default pattern, uh, mm -hmm. We needed to be, you know, constantly using a product that will help uh, repair damage so you can, you know, keep yourselves healthy longer. Uh, and then there is the, another good point is that there is no side effects or no toxicity related to the continuous use of the product. We have tested higher doses, so we have tested, you know, um, different or several uh, applications of the product and we have not seen any sensitization or any toxicity uh, at the molecular level or even at the clinical level because before we launched our product we needed to do those safety studies and one of them is the skin sensitization uh, right. with the product. Right and I think that is a little diversion but so you, you, you have to, so even though it's a cosmetic product, right, it still has to go through at least safety testing with the FDA. So you went through that process. Um, could you talk a little bit about getting that FDA approval? Yeah, so there is n not a process uh, where FDA will approve or review your data. So there, there are guidelines for safety and each company they should choose to, you know, to run those studies. So if there is any problem with safety in the market, then FDA can come to you and, you know, they can basically shut down your company. So it is, you know, wise for every company to run those tests before. And mainly in our case, we have a novel peptide it is a biological molecule. It's a, it's a peptides are largely used in, in cosmetic products, but we need to make sure that the safety is cleared. And so in our case, we have all the data. If eventually we, are, we have an audition, we can you know, show the data and uh, we are confident on that. But right. it's, it's kind of a risk that companies can take if they don't run all the data before oh. you know putting the product in the market okay okay interesting to understand that um so going back to the application so it, what is the recommended protocol like once a day twice a day yeah usually we uh, recommend twice a day so uh you you clean your skin in the morning and then it's the first product that you apply and then you can apply um SPF or makeup on top or other products if you like. And then at night, the same thing before bed, you wash your face, you, you clean with whatever cleanser, if you use one and then apply the product again. So this right. will help, yeah. Um, right. It will make... okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, no, that sounds good. Um, so I, I read on your website that you recommend the use kind of on your hands and skin and neck, hands and face and neck. Um, so, but we have skin all over our body and, you know, I assume it's all getting senescent. Uh, so <laughs> would it be appropriate to apply it wider or are you looking at a product that would, that would have kind of wider coverage on the skin? Yeah, definitely a great uh, point. So because those areas are the areas that are sun exposed, they tend to age faster. And since we are just starting right now, our first product should address those areas that are aging faster. Uh, it does make sense to have, you know, to address skin aging at, a, you know, a body level because 
mainly, as you said, if we think that we are accumulating cell, senescent cells in our whole body, in, in, you know, in our skin, that accumulation can, again, produce uh, cells, can inflammation, and can affect our bodies. Uh, so we are working on a, on a development of a body cream uh, that also would prevent or reduce or target senescent cells or prevent the accumulation of senescent cells. And one of the studies that we intend to run um, in the near future is that by applying this product in our body twice a day, if we measure the inflammation levels in our blood, can we are we able to, by treating skin aging, uh, to decrease the levels of inflammation that is, you know, it's released to our body and then decrease our systemic body inflammation mm -hmm. level. So that this study would be very interesting to show that when we are talking about longevity, of course, we, we need to eat well, we need to take, you know, supplements and exercise, but treating your skin can be another layer of uh, um, decreasing inflammation and, you know, extending our overall health. Does it make sense for you? Yes, it does. I mean, the skin is famously the, the largest organ in the body. And so by addressing the inflammation in the skin then that would reduce the overall inflammation in the body I, that that absolutely makes sense and that seems yeah like a you know good idea um okay so can we move to kind of like where where the the, the company and where you are now and what the next steps are and um as much as you can, although you talked a little bit about it already, it's like what, what products you're looking at, although I understand if some of that's <laughs> confidential. <laughs> um, so at the moment, you have uh, OneSkin is, is the, the kind of the key product. That's available in the US, is that right? What are plans yeah. for making it more widely available? Yes, that's right. Uh, initially, because we were working to streamline our production and shipping, uh, we started with the US first, uh, but we, our partner, our distributor uh, is able to uh, deliver internationally. So we are working on open, you know, this uh, international shipping soon. Uh, and then, yeah, we are still working if we're gonna open for, you know, some countries first and then it's hard to select which countries we should start with. So that's what we are working on now. In terms of next products, as I said, uh, we, it makes sense for us to have a product that treats skin aging uh, on, you know, on a body systemic level. So we are working on a body cream. Uh, and then another goal that we have is always to keep it iterating and evolving the efficacy of our, I would say, of our main product to promote skin rejuvenation. Because science will keep evolving and we'll be aware of everything that's going on and we'll be able to make those iterations and improve the efficacy of our product. So, I, we, I envision that we have version two of our, we call it a topical supplement. So we have version two of our topical supplement and the next year we have version three. And, you know, um, every time we'll be increasing, uh, hopefully the, the score or, you know, how, how much we are affecting the skin in inducing the rejuvenation. So... We right. don't want to go super broad in developing, you know, mm. 10 products. We want to be more minimalist in terms of if we have a very good product that treats your skin, face, and hands, and then another product for the body, I think we are covering our main needs to keep our skin healthy. And that's our, our main focus. 
Right. So the the product's in the market, right? So so, so some people are using it. Are you collecting feedback from them yeah. and like like a, an extended human trial? <laughs> yeah, and, and this is basically an extended human trial. And to be honest, it's my favorite part is when I when we get the reviews and people share how the product is impacting or improving their skin. Uh, it's where ev- when you know everything pays off. You know all the efforts, all the research, because it's when you are really you know somehow um, impacting people's lives. So this, for sure, this is. Um, and this is a way that we'll learn more about what our product can do for people. And, um, and then this will give us more insights in terms of uh, how, you know, how best we can serve our, our consumers. So some people have reported that have, the product has helped with their rosacea or some other people with eczema. And then based on those data, we can partner with, you know, other companies and develop uh, a product that's specific for those indications. So the interesting part of going direct to consumer is that you learn much faster of what you can pro- your product can do, and then you then you can put more efforts and investment in developing another specific application. Right. Yeah. Because I actually I, I should have asked about that about how the about using kind of uh, the skin product and how it interacts with uh, perhaps skin diseases, um, eczema or or any other rash actually. And so you, you do see that it, it improves? So we have got some um, feedback. So we have not done a study that was properly designed to address that, but because those conditions are related to um, to breaks in the skin barrier Mm -hmm. and our product, one of the data that we have from our clinical studies that our product help uh, improving the skin barrier um, in our clinical study up to 18% uh, that we measured in six six weeks and then three months. So by improving the skin barrier, we are basically preventing or helping to, you know, treat some of those conditions that are related to breaks in your skin barrier. Um, So it makes sense that by, you know, uh, that would be some, of course, depends on the, I would say the severity of the disease, Mm. right? It's something that's more, um, I would say early stage, we can probably help more if something that's more advanced, only our product, probably won't you know solve that condition but the good part is that people with very sensitive skin or even eczema for for example we are always improved so people you know that they their skin can handle the product pretty well we don't cause like irritation we don't see these uh, reactions and in most of the cases we see an improvement of some of those conditions as well. Excellent. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button and choose all for any new video release notifications. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.